Hi friends, welcome to today's vlog where I'm going to take you to a full day of clinic with me as an internal medicine doctor. Let's get started. Today starts bright and early at 5am and I grab my daily attire. Wait, are those pajamas? Yep, definitely pajamas. More on that later though. First, it's time to shower, which I always say will be quick, but sure enough, always takes me at least 10 to 20 minutes. Next, I finish the rest of my getup, and since I'm losing my hair, it takes all about 5 minutes. And yes, I did put on those pajamas, but again, more on those later, I promise. Now it's 5.30 and I'm finally done getting ready, so it's time for my favorite part of the day. Coffee. To be quite honest, the caffeine stopped working a long time ago, but a nice warm cup of joe, just perfect. And just to give it a little bit of oomph, we need to add a little bit of cream, well, maybe a little bit more. Now it's time to get to work and it's almost 6 a.m. Now let's get back to those pajamas. Yes, I promise this is still a clinic vlog, but today is a half day. Now here's how clinic works. My current schedule is very hospital inpatient heavy. That means every four weeks I'm doing some kind of rotation in the hospital. In fact, I just finished four weeks in the medical ICU. That was so much fun. Sarcasm. But after every fourth week or my fifth week, I am on clinic week, which means I get to take care of my own patients at a nearby hospital. Now clinic week is nice, like real nice, because the days don't start at 5.30 like the ICU. Nope. Clinic starts at 9 a.m. So not only can I possibly get an extra two to three hours of sleep, the other nice part is I get a few half days per week. These half days are meant for me to catch up on my adult kind of responsibilities, including clinic duties, studying, scheduling appointments. I'm pretty sure my car has been needing oil for months now. But because I'm just a freaking productivity boss, all that time essentially becomes time off. Just kidding. But today is sure enough one of those half days. And I'll be starting clinic in the afternoon, which means I can wear my pajamas right now. Every single day. Kobe. Oh, not the ear. Now I definitely take advantage of the extra sleep, but there are definitely days like today where I enjoy waking up early and working on my side projects like the YouTube channel as well as the Meta Lead Academy. <coughs> Shameless plug. Three hours later. So in addition to being able to use these extra hours to just kind of do things for myself, I get to also spend time with my wife, enjoy a nice breakfast, hang out with my puppy, play some Xbox, but now it's finally time to get ready for clinic. So first I have to obviously get my attire right, so that means I can say goodbye to these pajamas and hello to these medical pajamas. And just to make the attire a little bit more complete, we have to make sure we have that vest. All right, now we're looking good. So finally time to say goodbye to the wife who doesn't want to be on camera today, but also say goodbye to the puppy. Oh, he's so cute. And time to go. Now the nice thing about my drive to my clinic site is that it's about 30 to 40 minutes away, which seems terrible, but I love to use it to listen to my next favorite audiobook. Currently I'm using Scribd, which I'll link down below, and I'm averaging about two to three books read per week. Now it's a little bit before 1 p.m. and I've finally made it to clinic. Now, first thing I do when I come to clinic is I try to figure out how many patients I have to see. Now, today is a Friday, which means it is typically very light, but most days I see about four patients each half day, plus some telephone calls and the setting of COVID. But today I have just two in-person visits as well as some televisits and need to catch up on some notes from the past week, which honestly is not bad at all. But today I think I'm in luck and I only have two patients to see in person as well as some tele calls. Because I'm such an efficient beast, the first thing I do is pre-write my notes because you know, that's what experienced doctors do and I've been doing this for a whole year and a half. That's a long time. Just kidding. I actually just hate being slow. So I go ahead and start pre-writing my notes. I usually find the note from the last encounter using my template for my current visit. This way I know what to follow up on. I already have a plan for each of my patients for that day. Then I quickly look at any other notes since my last visit with them. Some patients have to be admitted to the hospital or have ED visits and so it's nice for me to remember to ask about those during our visit. And for most of my patients they seem to have a lot going on within the last three to six months and others don't actually see another doctor except me which makes me a little nervous. But finally, I remind myself what medications they're taking, as well as if they need updates on their vaccinations, including flu, COVID, tetanus, COVID, get vaccinated. And finally, I'm ready. Now, usually a tech will let me know when my patient is here, and I'll go up to the lobby to grab them. Now, obviously for this video, I can't show you my patient encounters. HIPAA. So let's fast forward to where I get back to being by myself. Most of my visits are 20 to 30 minutes, and the first visit actually took me a lot longer because unfortunately I had to send my patient to the emergency room. Now, without getting too in-depth into their clinical picture, I essentially had a patient that just looked very tired, and their labs and their vitals, and essentially their history was a little concerning that I just wanted to go ahead and send them to the emergency room to have a full workup. So 
as you can imagine, that is not a quick visit by any means. I have to call the ED in the hospital to let them know that this patient is coming from my clinic and also making sure that all of the workup that is ordered for the next time they see me is also in place. But usually these visits take me 20 to 30 minutes and finally it takes me about 5 to 10 minutes to go ahead and finish out their note because again, I'm a freaking beast and I already pre-wrote it. And as my day is getting closer to being done, can't forget the televisit. Now these are really fun because, well, no one likes wasting time on the phone. Well, sometimes my 85 year old females like their inner grandma out, but these go kind of long. But most of my calls are quick and focused on their few problems that the patient really cares about. So I can put in my orders, type in my note as I'm talking to them, and then I'm done. Now keep in mind that for each of these patients, I'm running them by and attending in the clinic. Why? Well, I've only been doing this a year and a half, which I think I'm pretty awesome. I still need a second set of eyes to make sure I'm not being, well, stupid, which is super helpful. And oh, look at the time. It's already 4 p.m. and I'm an efficient beast. That means I'm done with my notes and my patients. So it's time to go home. You had an out? All right, I'm coming. Now, instead of 30 to 40 minutes, it actually takes me an hour to get home. Well, because, well, Dallas traffic. But hopefully you guys enjoy this vlog and this day of clinic. Time to go home and change back to my, well, other pajamas. I'll see you guys in the next one, my friends. Oh, and before you forget, like and subscribe. Love you guys. See you guys in the next one. Peace.